Crawford. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Ian here in Chengdu, and I'm just about to go see the pandas. So hang with me and I'll be sharing some pandas and some interesting facts about pandas because I'm learning as much as what you're learning. So let's go see this. And it's not that busy, 7.30 in the morning. I am about to see the first panda I've ever seen in my life. I mean, a real panda in the flesh, so to speak. <laughs> I'm halfway through my 50s and I'm about to see the first panda I have ever seen. Wow, what a beautiful animal. I can understand why, yeah, I can understand why people really appreciate the panda. Nice, nice. Oops, that's an interesting noise. Is that a parrot or a peacock? Mm, I think that is a peacock. Look at these guys. Are they? Are they actually? Are they? Are they alive? I think they've just fallen asleep, just eating that much bamboo. Out they go. Check this guy with his leg up. <laughs> it's funny. Look at that guy. He's he's just out. He's had enough. Game over. Amazing. Three, six months old. Maybe, actually, maybe older. But, but they're having a lot of fun. And that's what you call teamwork. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Fast they're climbing that cage. That's amazing. There's some quick facts about the old panda bear. They are giant pandas often referred to as simply as pandas. In the wild they are found in really thick bamboo forests. 10% of the bamboo they actually like to eat, the rest of it they won't eat. So they're very, very fussy. Technically they're omnivores, but with a given chance they might eat a small animal in the passing. Depends on how hungry they are. Just finding out there. Pandas, they eat a lot. They spend their whole day just shifting bamboo. They will shift about 12 kilograms of a bamboo through the whole day. That's a lot of bamboo. So giant pandas, they will grow between 1.2, 1.5 meters, but they can go taller than that on their hind legs, up to about six foot. Um, they can weigh about 75 kilograms up to about 145 kilograms but they have also been known to put on the old beef uh, right up to about 160-170 kilograms. So that was fantastic. We've come very early in the morning, which is the advice. So we were up, I was up at half past five, six o'clock, um, came out here to the panda sanctuary early in the morning and they're very, very active. And then in the afternoon or late around late morning, afternoon, they have done nothing but eat bamboo. So then they're sleeping, um, which I'm glad we've come in the morning because we saw some fantastically active uh, panda bears found out some really interesting things. They can grow to about six foot tall. Um, two adults can't be together, especially male adults, they'll just fight. There's a 50 50 chance that um, you would have twin babies, um, and in the wild, only one would survive. There is a famous one here, it's a panda influencer, I believe, called Hua Hua, which is like flower. And the queue for that was just massive. And I was going to wait, but it was just crazy. I also saw some red pandas which was awesome. They were quite active, obviously small pandas, so there's giant panda which is a big black and white panda and then there is the um, red panda which is a wee kind of fast moving panda. They were really active, different type of panda, different diet. Some fantastic shots I got from the pandas. 
eating the fruit, the bamboo, and I'm told they can just eat, munch through so much bamboo that it's incredible. You could always tell where the, the, there was pandas and it was quite active because people would just flock towards that area and then tsh, cameras and the video, but you have to stay quite quiet. There's lots of signage that says, please keep quiet. So I'm now heading off to see the big Buddha. Um, it's about a two hour trip from here. My first uh, service station in China. Before we were hiking up to this Buddha, I needed to go and get something to eat. So we're going to go to a local restaurant here and get some local food. So I've made it to what's called Liu Shan, which is where this massive Buddha is, which is supposed to be like. Uh, the same size as 24 story building, maybe 72 meters or so, but I'll show it if you come with me right now. So this guy here is the tallest Buddha in the world. He has got a big head. His head is massive. He stands 71 meters tall. His head is actually 14.7 meters in height, 10 meters in width. That's a big head. It's also quite interesting when you look at his eyes, his eyes seem to follow you no matter where you go. So when you look up, look down, look to the side. Every time you look, you can see his eyes. I think I have walked up a million stairs and now we're supposed to walk down the stairs to see the feet and then walk back up the stairs, back to the head to get back to the beginning again. Anyway. they say here the mountain is Buddha and the Buddha is the mountain. This is a Lishan giant Buddha, the biggest Buddha in the world and it sits on the cliff of Sijal Hill.
<laughs> so I've just did the big Buddha, which is the largest Buddha in the world, I believe. You can check that online. I am Kerry Packard, as they say, knackered. I think I walked up a million stairs and walked down a million stairs and then walked up a million stairs. There were so many stairs. Did I tell you there were stairs? A lot of stairs. Anyway, it was well, well worth going up all the stairs because that was just outstanding. And I hope you enjoyed the Buddha. It is, I think, about 5 p.m. at night. I've been on the road since about half past seven. Uh, this is me, Ian Knackard, in Ryoshan, just after seeing a massive Buddha, biggest Buddha in the world, with some facts I think I've shared with you. And as always, take care. Peace out.